So, man, 25 gamers. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the base man beater uh, out of our audibles, and we're just gonna break down the formation for you right now. But um, single back tight flex is our base man coverage beater, uh, and the play we're gonna be focused on today uh, is the bench play. That's what I really like to use to beat man to man coverage. We'll use Nickel Strong again. Uh, see, it's in our quick audible, so it's easy access, and that's the, really the only play here uh, that I use. Um, uh, minus the halfback dive. So really today, there's only going to be two plays. I apologize for that, but that's just the way that the formation works. Uh, so what we like to do a bench is we like to create uh, two concepts here. We like to create a bench concept, and we like to create a, an overload. So what I like to do personally is the way that the formation sets up, the left side is where you want to motion it. So if you want to, you could flip the play. Like once you go to it, you could just flip it. Actually works a little better. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, we'll show you another thing you can do to get around that. But what we want to do this for, for setting up bench is we want to put A on a streak here, green. We want to put B on a drag, and we just want to block uh, the running back. Or what you can do, if you don't want to block the running back, you can put him on a block and release pattern. You can put him on a wheel route, whatever you want to do. But I primarily really like to block the running back in this offense. Actually, what I, and also another thing you can do is just uh, swing past him to the right or wheel him to the right if you can wheel him to the right. Um, to clear space for Gresham, but the, the basically the first thing you want to do is you're going to motion snap Gresham four steps to the left. So one, two, three, four. He's your first read. You see, he's going to get that stat Mac animation against man-to-man -man coverage. Very effective for beating man coverage. We're going to use that every single time. So here, uh, let me just flip bench here. Set the routes up again, and then your second read on this play is going to be your corner route to Jones. Excuse me. So, corner routes are very effective. I don't know why I can't get on Gresham. Gresham, or whatever his name is. Okay, this is ridiculous. Why? Whatever. So, anyways, just imagine Gresham being motion four steps. Your second read is going to be this corner route. You see it's going to crush man-to-man -man coverage. A lot of people having trouble stopping corner routes this year. And they're not covering it. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. It's very effective. Third read is your other corner route to... Uh, y or triangle. You see, it also beats man-to-man -man coverage. It's a later read, but you can still you can you can still fit it in there. And then your last read is going to be a it, between A and RB. Basically, you're looking to A and then you're looking to RB. Uh, here we'll show you A gets that inside position, and you can just use or catch that in front of that because what happens is bench the concept of the corner and streak works almost like a pick play. And with AJ Green being over there because of the roster setup. That's gonna allow. See how he gets. See how he just gets lost on the corner, and then you can just click on and get. You can click on and make that user catch for days and, and underneath the safety. So it's something. To, it's a really effective, very effective uh, late read for this play. And then of course your last read, like I said, is your running back out of the backfield. Wheel routes are very effective out of the backfield uh, for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Pass lead them to the right, and they're just a lot of times never gonna cover them. So be sure to use that out of bench. And then the next play. Uh, really just a halfback dive. Uh, just pound forward, guys. Halfback dive. Best run in the game right now. A lot of people are very underestimating the halfback dive. Flip it. Run it right. Run it left. Reuse the motion snaps. Another thing you can do out of halfback dive, and this is something that you can also do at a bench, is you can put Gresham on a drag here. Motion him to the left. like you're, And, and you see he's going to come into the backfield like a running back. That's something, a little a little characteristic out of, this, out of this formation that you can use. And you see that crazy, like... You just put him on a wheel or something, and, and it's it's open. I don't know. Like, put him on a streak here, and then now you see he's now on a swing pass. And then if you motion him back out, check what happens. He's still on the swing pass, and so you can just like use some snap throw or whatever. Get crazy with this formation in practice mode, but um, it's very effective. So like, see here, I can put him on a uh, a swing left, a swing right. I can put him on a wheel, and then I can motion him back out. Put him key. He's still on that wheel. Now he has that motion snap, and we know how good wheels are against man coverage. So a lot of things you can do with this formation, but the all starts with the basic idea of the bench play and, and how we like to use it. Um, here real quick, let me show you how he motions Sanu. He's going to go all the way across the formation. So just understand you can only do it from the right edge, and if you flip the formation, which I, I like to do, personally flip the formation, so that now you're looking at this, then you'll see here, that, um, whoops, I didn't mean to motion green and I apologize for that. Here you'll see that Sanu will motion, but he's going to go all the way across. So that means that Gresham is still going to be the guy that comes into the backfield, so we can still use that to our advantage. So, for example, if I wanted to maybe put Gresham on 
like a wheel, so he comes in the backfield, and I get him on a wheel route, and then I can maybe motion him back to the left. They think it's the same motion snap, so now I'm just going to motion him out. And then now I just go over the top because the corner route um, and then the wheel combo, and then I can make a user catch. A lot of things you can do with this, but it all starts from the basic bench play I broke down and the halfback dive. Use these plays with each other, guys. They're very effective in this game, and especially this motion. Gresham into the backfield, running the halfback dive. A lot of people aren't using that, and I think it's very effective in this game. So be sure to check out Single Back Tight Flex out of the Green Bay Packers playbook as our base man beater in Madden NFL 25 out of this playbook. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to break down our basic zone beater, uh, and I think you guys are really going to like what I have for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.